Hello, good day all of you. Welcome to our session. Welcome to our channel, Intelligible Tutorials. In this today's session, now we are going to discuss about the strong slot filler structures. In our previous videos, I have already discussed regarding the weak slot filler structures of knowledge representation. What is the purpose of the weak slot filler structures in the role of knowledge representation is to represent some set of links and uh, easy kind of relationships etc etc. What are the examples of this weak slot filler structures are nothing but uh, semantic nets we have discussed already in our previous videos and as well as uh, frames. These two things already we have completed in our past videos. And now we are going to discuss about uh, the strong slot filler structures. What is the purpose of this strong slot filler structures? Why we are going to discuss this uh, strong slot filler structures? First of all, we are going to see now. So what is the purpose of this uh, strong slot filler structures is the very first one is whenever uh, a static rules or small rules or very easy rules or links that can be represented using this weak slot filler structures. But using weak slot filler structures, we cannot represent the hard rules and as well as the fast rules. And the second advantage of this strong slot filler structures is nothing but the dynamic events, whatever that are going to happen. That means, uh, what are the dynamic events means the bus is running, the boy gave a book to me and the book is on the table like that such a, certain events, whatever events will be there. So such kind of the events. So those events can be represented by using this strong slot filler structures. Events can be represented with the help of strong slot filler structures. And not only these events can be represented by using the strong slot filler structures and these rules will be there. These rules uh, and inference rules can also be represented. Rules of inferences can also be represented using these strong slot filler structures. Strong slot filler structures, we are having some set of actions and some set of uh, aiders we are having picture aiders and uh, action aiders like that okay so some set of the actions all these things we will use in the strong slot filler structures so what are the strong slot filler structures actually what kind of the things that we will see in the strong slot filler structures so for this the strong slot filler structures the very first one here we are going to see is cd stands for conceptual dependency okay so this is the first one of the strong slot filler structures and coming to the second one is nothing but scripts and coming to the third one is nothing but cyc or cyc l so these are the various kinds of the strong slot filler structures that we are going to represent so what is the meaning of this strong slot filler structures why we go for this strong slot filler structures is these are used for uh, links that can be represented as hard and fast and whatever dynamic events that will be generated those can be represented using these events and rules of inferences and it can also be represent some set of the actions, aiders, modifiers also it will represent. Okay. And what are the various th types of strong slot filler structures is the best example is conceptual dependency and scripts and CYC. And now we see what are the various examples of this strong slot filler structures and first of all we see this conceptual dependency before going to this conceptual dependency we will see what are the actions what are the modifiers and what are the action aiders of this strong slot filler structures And now we see what are the various kinds of uh, actions of the strong slot filler structures. The very first one is A trans. A trans stands for transferring of relation. Okay. And next one P trans. Transferring physically the object from one place to another place. That is the P trans. And next one propel. Propel means application of any force. Force that is pulling and uh, pushing like that you are applying any kind of the force then you use this action that is propel and next if you want to shift from one place to another place any kind of the object that is move okay so a trans transferring of any attributes relations 
and pay trans physically you are relocating and moving from one place to another place these are some set of the actions that are given and next coming to the dependencies what are the various kinds of the dependencies those are acts are nothing but actions pps objects ps picture aiders aa stands for action aiders we will use these dependencies wherever the example is appropriate wherever the example is applicable if we we can clearly understand by watching some set of the examples now so what are the various kinds of the examples now we see the very first one is john rand this is a statement is given okay so for this statement john rand we are talking about pp act so what is the pp actually john is an object that is pp act is nothing but action ran is one kind of the action so we are representing act and that can be represent in the using the actions of the conceptual dependency john p p trans that means physically he is transferring from one place to another place by running so that is john p p trans and now coming to the second one john is tall tall means pp here also the john is pp and what is aa here it is not the action here you are representing the adjective of the john that is he is tall okay so for that you will represent the a stands for action aider okay so pp2 action aider that is john height you are representing that john is a person who is more height so that's what you are representing john is height like this you can use these examples these actions and the dependencies now we see some more number of the examples now we see some more examples based on this the first one is here the third one is a nice boy so you are representing a boy is nice that means you are adding the adjective like uh, the boy is nice for this what we are representing boy to nice and pp is the object so boy is considered as the object and action aider whenever you are going to represent any kind of the adjective like uh, in the previous case we discussed it that john is tall tall is nothing but the quality of a man quality of a man means it is adjective so this can be represented with the help of the action aider okay so adjective or quality can be represented by action aider okay so so in the previous case john is tall there also we have represented this adjective action aider okay john is tall now here also the boy is nice means you are adding quality to that boy so that is pp to a that means action aider you are representing here so this is one way to represent the conceptual dependency in the form of knowledge representation so another example that is john pushed a cart so what we are going to represent here is uh, act o p p so this is one part and this is another part act o p p means pushing means what it is one kind of the action you are pushing one object and pp is one kind of the object o stands for object and p stands for object so o is the object of john is one object and pp is the object a cart so two objects here taking in the place one is john another one is pp so act to o p p now how can we represent this john pp propel cart so here john is the p is the object and propel cart is the another object so what is the purpose of this propel uh, action we have implemented here let us see here propel, propel means what applying force that means you are pushing anything that is application of the force or pulling anything that can be represented by using the propel so john pushed a cart john p propel cart like this the conceptual dependency can be represented with the help of this number of the dependencies and this number of the actions and action aiders and picture aiders and all these things so it is uh, one way of representing the knowledge whatever knowledge that is there in the natural language that can be represented with the help of these actions and the dependencies and the aiders by using this conceptual dependency in the strong slot filler structures whatever hard rules whatever hard relationships are there the whatever events that can be happen that can be easily represented by using this uh, conceptual dependency so now another conceptual dependency is scripts that is uh, somewhat uh, lesser complexity than this conceptual dependency and including cyc also that is lesser complex than this uh, 
conceptual dependency Com conceptual dependency is somewhat complex one and very hard way to represent hard rules and fast rules uh, in the filler structures and very important one also so we will meet in another video regarding the strong slot filler structures such as uh, scripts and as well as uh, cyc and all these things if any one of you didn't subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel intelligible tutorials thank you one and all thank you